Hello, I'm Richard Matthews, a Global Sales Account Manager here at Hyperwall, and joining me today I have Steve Whitworth, the Technical Services Manager. And today we're going to be doing a short demonstration of the Hyperwall system. Hyperwall is software that's used to control video walls in corporate offices, in universities, schools, and in command and control centers. Let me show you the topology. First, we'll start off with the output, the stuff that actually goes on the wall. So in the output, we have Hyperview software, which is HD or UHD. HD for 1080 displays and UHD for displays that are 4K. That software is loaded on the PCs that are attached to the displays or are embedded in the displays. And it gets connected via the network to the sources. Everything runs through a gigabit network. That gigabit network can either be a physical network, as you see here, or it could actually also be a VLAN. So let's talk about the actual sources themselves. First, we'll start with the Hypersource Sender. Hypersource Sender does a screen scrape of whatever's on your desktop and then throws it to the wall. It runs on Windows platforms, Linux platforms, and Macintosh platforms. We have Hypersource Browser. Hypersource Browser is somewhat of an extension of Hypersource Sender. This browser allows you to put multiple browser tabs inside of a single application and have them of any resolution, usually only one PC to have multiple pieces of browser content on the wall, therefore reducing the cost of putting those browser windows on the wall. Then we have Hypersource IP streams. Hypersource IP streams are for IP cameras or an H.264 encoder. And then from there, we have Hypersource Streamer. Hypersource Streamer is typically used for high frame rate content. So typically that means cable television, satellite TV, Xbox, PlayStation, basically anything that has video out that needs to be placed on the wall. Then we have Control. Control, in this case, is a fault tolerant system. In a fault tolerant system, you have two controllers. So if you were to lose one controller, the other controller would still be operational. And once that controller comes back online, that content would sync and they'd have the same content on both controllers. Hyper Operator is a subset of the actual controller. It allows you to manipulate the content on that controller. In a lot of situations, we have people that are using it on a touchscreen wireless laptop to manipulate the content without having to be in front of the controller. Now, what you need to remember about all of this is Hyperwall is software, it's scalable, it's hardware agnostic. Hardware agnostic means you can use anyone's displays, anyone's PCs, and it's IP based. Let's take a look at the controller. We have the control panel here on the left. This is where the commands are issued and executed. And then we have visual representations of the walls themselves. Steve and I are going to demonstrate how you can pull information from practically any source and place it on the wall. So here's a construction image. This image is 26,892 by 9,500. Steve, let's demonstrate how we can zoom in and read the actual measurements on one of these support beams. Now, if you look closely, you can see that that support beam is 1.7 meters. Let's bring up PowerPoint slides. This happens to be PowerPoint slides that have been saved out as a JPEG and as a result, moved into our slideshow application to create a slideshow. So this is just like having PowerPoint being played back on your wall. Here's a 4K video. These 1080 displays are resolving the entire 4K video to the wall. Here's the IP camera. This happens to be the camera that's in our lobby. So if you were walking to Hyperwall, you'd come through those doors and this camera would actually capture your entry. Here's a GIS application. This application happens to be an Esri application. If you were to look real closely, you could see that each of these dots happen to fit this legend that speaks to the crimes that are occurring in a particular city. This is a website. Here's the weather channel. This is actually coming off of a cable box and being fed directly to the wall. You've seen how we can place things on the wall. Let's talk about how we can control those things. We can control those things by placing anything anywhere. Steve, can you take this image and shrink it and have it fit in this area here? That's how easy it is to move and place things on a hyperwall. A hyperwall is essentially a canvas, so you have all the screen real estate available to you. Steve, let's demonstrate layering. So right now we have this television image that's covering the wall, and Steve has brought up a IP camera. We can also do transparencies on that IP camera so that the television station will show through. 
and there's transparency so that you can see that there's actually an image behind that. Okay, now we're at the point where we can demonstrate some cloning. So right now we have one television station here in this lower window. Steve, could you give me another television station up here, the Weather Channel? And now can you take this IP camera and clone that and place it up here? Now let's make this, this uh, weather channel here, let's rotate it 180 degrees so that you can see that both images are perfectly synced. Now let's put some text on the wall. Steve, do you know how to spell my name? Okay, this is how we place text on the wall. It's very easy to do. Essentially, you open up what we call a text tool, and then you type in the text. The text can be any of the fonts that you have on your system, so it's not tied to any one uh, font. And as you can see, you have the same capability with every image. You can shrink it, you can uh, also animate it. Steve can show this being animated and moving across the screen, or he can show it rotating. Steve's having a little fun. This is an illustration of animation. We're rotating my name. Now, once you have everything set up as you see here, you can save everything you see here out to an environment. So Steve is gonna save this to an environment. A typical customer space, an environment would be called a layout. We call those layouts environments. And he's going to change the wall and you're gonna see everything come up exactly as we show it here. Now the wall's gone blank and Steve's gonna bring that environment back up just as we had saved it before. So here's the environment. As you can see, the content has been rotated 180 degrees on the television station. And you can see up here, it's aligned correctly. You can see the IP cameras on the wall. You can see the text rotating and everything all occurring at once. In addition to setting up an environment, you can also schedule this. So if you wanted to have this show up at eight o'clock in the morning, this could show up at eight o'clock in the morning. Now that we've finished talking about the actual controller, let's talk about hyperoperator. Hyperoperator is a subset of the controller. So what hyperoperator allows you to do is to take a tablet as you see here. In this case, it's a Windows based tablet. Hyperoperator can run on a Windows machine, it can run on a Linux machine, it can run on a Solaris-based machine, and even a Macintosh. Now, what you can do with Hyperoperator when you're using a touchscreen laptop in a wireless scenario, you can touch an item and then you can pinch and zoom that item and have it fill the display or go beyond the actual boundaries of the display. Hypersource Browser is a new piece of software that we've introduced. It's a piece of software that allows you to take one PC and control a number of browser windows out of that same PC. Now, what also makes it different is that you have the ability to go beyond the resolution that's on the PC. Most PCs can typically only show 1080 or 4K. This image happens to be quite a bit larger than that. This would not fit inside of your PC's display. You can also then bring up additional windows like the window here, which happens to be a website or the actual Hyperwall website, all inside of a single PC, thereby reducing your hardware needs. As you have seen, our software is powerful and easy to use. This along with our scalability and affordability is why organizations such as NYPD, LA Metro, the US Navy, Clemson, American Express, Hulu, and police and fire departments around the world have chosen Hyperwall.